Did you know you can take a picture of a plant just like this one here and send it to be ID'd? Or maybe you can take a picture of a plant problem and have it identified by your local county extension agent. Amy Vu, our local residential horticulturist and our master gardener coordinator. Boy, you got a lot you're doing is here <laughs> with us today. And going to tell us all about this. Now, I imagine there's many reasons to send, a, take a picture and have it sent in. Sure, there are so many reasons why you'd want to take a picture and send it in. We're really busy nowadays and you know we have technology right at our fingers. So we would really love to help with Plant ID at the Extension Office and the Plant Clinic. And so it's really important a lot of people will send in pictures because they've just moved into a house and they find plants that they have no idea what they are or you buy you know plants at the store and I forget know. what they are, right? <laughs> Lose the label, exactly. get it buried somewhere. Now there's a good picture and a bad picture and we have a few bad pictures here. Tell us what a bad picture is first. Sure. So usually with a bad picture, it's it's only part of the plant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a good picture, you're going to have to take multiple pictures There's so we can ID. There's a part of a plant right There's, there. There you go, part of a plant. You've now got, what does that tell me? That tells you Nothing. that it has. That's part <laughs> of a leaf. That it is a living plant, and that's about it. Yeah. So now the one in, uh, before this one here, I had uh, already up. If I can get it, there you go. Is what too, con too con congested? Too or confusing. What? There's way too much yeah. going on. I have no idea which plant you actually want me to look at, and there are no defining features for how to actually figure out what plant that is. Yeah. So how do we take a good picture then? Okay. So the first thing is you want to submit multiple photos. Okay. It's not just going to be one picture. Um, the best way to actually identify a plant is by looking at the flowers. So if the plant has a flower, that's going to be the best best way to ID. Um, when you're looking at you know, a, a sample, you'll put it up and, and the best thing is also to have some sort of ruler or something you can mm -hmm. compare it to and you'll go ahead, a lot of people will use their smartphones nowadays and sure. so you just want to make sure you get up really close and I can see these nodes which is where the leaves are connected okay. yep. and so you'll go ahead and want to make sure it's clear, make sure it's not blurry, make sure you hold still, and, and then you, you took go a ahead picture. and took the picture. Yeah, now what do I do with that picture? So you'll go ahead and send it over to the extension office. Our email is orange at ifis.ufl.edu. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't know as extension agents what this plant is, we may ask you to send in more pictures. Um, if we definitely don't know what it is after seeing everything, we'll send it up to the herbarium in Gainesville. Okay, very good. Now, we have a couple other pictures. Now, this is a good one, right? That is a good one, yes. Okay, what's so good about this one? So you can see every flower in that. You can actually, it probably would have been better had I put a ruler next to it or something to mm -hmm. compare it to, um, but the flowers are definitely the defining factor okay. of that photo. Okay, now how about this one here that we took? This one here is a little different. And it's got some, what, leaf spot and things like that? Yeah, you can see some leaf spot. Again, you know, it's kind of blurry on that, but I would have focused in on that had I wanted to find out what the leaf spot actually was. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I find also, that you can send too many pictures. I, I, I like to get, you know, a couple. Sure. Yeah, if I get too many, then I have to download them and it's more time for me. But. Well, and sometimes it won't even send to you if there are too many or the, the gigabyte or megabyte is too big on the photo. Yeah. Now, we have a picture here. This is a Detrofa, but how would you take this picture? What would you do? Yeah, with the Detrofa, I would go ahead and take the picture with just the flower. So I mm -hmm. would take a picture of the flowering parts, and then I would kind of set it down to look again at the space where the leaves are actually connected to that stem. And I would try to take a picture of the spacing between that and the actual uh, leaf. So take a picture of the leaf and send it send it in. Mm -hmm. So you probably have two pictures here uh, of the leaf. Maybe maybe three. Overall shot and then the flower and then the leaves. Yep. And you'd have three good pictures. Okay, tell us what not to do now. What don't you do and send a picture? Just one leaf is not going to tell us anything. One right? leaf will not tell you anything. Pieces of the plant will probably not tell you anything. Um, you know, you probably want to have a fresh sample, mm -hmm. okay? If you leave it in your car for a week and take a picture of it, then it's going to be all wilted and we won't be able to actually see what the flower looks like and what the foliage looks mm -hmm. like on the plant. And if it's a plant that has a problem, like a disease leaf or something, what do you want from that? From a disease leaf, you want to take as much as you can from what the problematic area is. You want to show us what the problem is, but then you want to show us what the plant looks like where there's not the problem, so we can kind of look and compare. Or if it's an insect. Or if it's an insect, Get sure. Get a nice, pretty picture of that insect. Yep. And make sure it's not <laughs> blurry because we can't That's see right. it if it's because, blurry. Yeah. Amy, thank you so much. I appreciate the, all the information. Now you know, folks, if you want to have that plant ID'd or if you want to have a picture of a beetle uh, identified, make sure you send us a good picture. Send a couple of pictures, just not too many.